Okay, this is demonstration number two for how to start the tile once you um, let it set up at least overnight. So this tile set up over the weekend, so it's not as um, soft as it was last week. Um, you can see some wrinkles in it from the plastic that was laying on top of it. So I'm just going to take the rib tool like we did last time, like when we made the tile, and just smooth out the top again. So it doesn't have any of those wrinkles from the plastic laying on top of it over the weekend. For those of you who made your tile today, um, your tile will set up overnight and you'll be able to do this tomorrow. I'll try to leave the plastic open enough so that your tile is not soft tomorrow. So today, when you or when when you do are ready to do this process, you're going to obviously need your tile on a clay board. You can have a damp sponge ready just in case, but you really want to squeeze most of the water out of it. I squeezed this very hard to get almost all the water out of it. You can get yourself the smooth rib. You need your tracing paper that with your final design on it and a pencil with a dull tip. So don't use a pencil like a mechanical pencil that's very sharp and don't use a freshly sharpened pencil. And you also don't want to use the needle tool um, for the tracing because it'll just go straight through the thin tracing paper. So you do need a, a pencil that's kind of dull and your finished design on your tracing paper. Eventually you'll need the needle tool one of these wooden um, modeling tools, um, a loop tool, and um, some carving tool, some other carving tools that I will have out for you when you're ready to do this tomorrow. So after you've smoothed out the surface of your tile, you're gonna lay down your tracing paper like this and it should stick pretty well. Obviously you can't really tape it to the clay, but it shouldn't be a problem to have it stay still if you press it down a little bit and have it stick to the surface, which is still slightly wet, okay? Once you've stuck your tracing paper down, it, it will start to curl, so you are gonna need to hold it down as you trace. You're gonna, if you have a border, you're gonna start with your border, okay? So I'm going around and I'm using my dull pencil to go into my design so that when I lift it up, you can see that I've traced the design in there, okay? You can see the line in the clay. Like I said, if you were if you tried to do this with the needle tool, it would just tear through the paper, and then you might mess up your design. So just try to, um, you know, have a pencil that's a little bit dull, not super sharp, and you are going to go over all your lines of your design. Okay, I'll finish my border before I keep going. My border kind of disappears into the tree, so I'm actually going to just trace the parts of the border that I can actually see. Also, my border disappears into the dress slash um, tree trunk right here. Okay, so at this point, I've gone all the way around the border, and you can see that it, the trace lines like that. Put it, put it back down and keep going to trace over all your lines in your design. If you mess up a little, don't worry because it's clay underneath and you can just smoosh it back to how you want it. Your tracing paper is gonna look pretty messed up when you're done and that's okay because this is the last time you're gonna need it. The only thing you need the tracing paper for is to be able to get the design onto your tile. Okay, I'm just going to make sure I went over every line there. Okay, I did. I'll go up here to this horizon line. And continue the figure here.
you, you can see um, on here that the tracing paper is starting to wrinkle a little bit. And it's okay if it wrinkles a little bit, as long as it's not curling up on you. If it's a little bit wrinkled, don't worry about it. Just keep tracing. Also, remember how in my um, final design, the tree limbs come off of the edge. Um, I did not include that in my tracing. And that's just because I'm going to just trace on here where the limbs go to, to the edge, and then freehand add on the edges of the branches that go off the tile. So anything that goes off your tile, you can do later. Don't worry about it right now during this tracing phase. Because that's going to be added with extra clay later. All right, I got to finish these other two figures and the bottom of the border and dress here. And then I have, what I'm going to do is use a stamp. We have some stamps that you can put into your clay. Since I, um, I'm going to be stamping, I just want to make a little mark of where each of the, the center of the stamps are going to go. So I'm just put, poking a little dot where the stamps are going to go so that I can remember where to put them and they're spaced apart correctly. Like that. Okay, so now it's done. The whole design is now traced onto the clay. Oh, I forgot his shoulder. I can just freehand that. A minute? Okay. Six minutes. Okay. All right. So that's how you're going to begin. Um, after you get to this point, you are going to need your loop tools and you're going to start to carve out, but that'll be another video. Okay. So this is what you're going to be doing first thing tomorrow. And then after you do this, I'm going to demonstrate how to start using the loop tool to actually carve areas out because this is going to be carved out this background area and then other areas are going to be built on top of the clay. OK, so we'll end this demonstration here and we'll um, start to clean up. OK. How much time do we have? We have 